We are here in cabin 7348 on the Carnival Liberty. Do a quick tour of our balcony cabin. When you first walk in, we've got three closets over here. Nice long hanging closet. Over our formal gear in here. And the middle one looks the same. Life jackets. There's also life jackets underneath the bed. And this one has shelves, but the shelves do flip up. All you gotta do is use this little contraption right there, and then you have a third uh, long long hanging one if you'd rather that. Uh, also a full length mirror that has come in handy. We're on our last day of our cruise here. In the bathroom. So the bathroom, I thought the bathroom looked small, but it really, like the shower, it, it was really plenty, plenty of room. Um, this particular shower uh, has a slow drain, you know, so you got to be sort of careful. Make sure that the water doesn't overflow. We never actually had it overflow, but I think if you took a really long shower, you may have that problem. And I've heard that is a common problem here, you know, an older ship. Never had a problem with hot water. Always had the hot water. Um, and it turn, you know, all we've had to do is turn it on, and the hot water is almost instant. So it's not like you gotta let it run for a while to get the hot water going. When you first come in, it, the light switch for the big overhead lights in the room, and then the bathroom light switch is here. So if you do have this cabin, um, the bathroom light it takes a little while. So when you turn it off and you turn it back on, you gotta just let it. Let it sit for a minute, and then it'll it'll turn on for you. Temperature gauge is here. We have not touched this. It is on the coldest possible, and I heard somebody say that they keep the cabins at like 75 degrees. So, like in the mornings when the sun is beating in, uh, it was quite warm. We thought so. You know, bring a fan or something if you find 75 too warm. So one other thing on um, with this particular cabin, because of the side of the ship that it's on, uh, the first two days were sea days, and the sun was beating in uh, quite heavily in the mornings. Like it was very, very bright in the cabin. And there was, um, there's just a couple inches on the left side there where the curtain doesn't quite hit it. So. You know, just be aware. But this morning was our final sea day and we're headed back to New Orleans. So um, this morning actually was not that bright. So old fashioned phone, here's the light switch for uh, these fluorescent lights here, which we really never used. This is the only plugs in the entire cabin. So make sure you bring an extension cord, a, um, you know, USB adapter. TV, we got, you know, Discovery Channel, Travel Channel, you know, Carnival has a bunch of channels, um, show you the, you know, the ship and everything, where the ship location is, we watch that now for once in a while, um, hair dryer. Some drawers, we use this middle drawer for all of like our cords and stuff. A little stool and a trash can. A little fridge. Kept everything, I don't know, if it had no problem with like the water. Everything that we put in there was, was cold. Not just cool. A lot of people say that, you know, the, the fridges don't get cold enough. Ours, this, this cabin in particular definitely got cold enough. 
got a couple of shelves there, and then these are just uh, skinny, skinny shelves. We were very glad that we brought extra hooks. We were also very glad that we brought our fans that help tremendously. And we were also very glad that we brought our extension cord there. We are currently in the Gulf, so got that beautiful blue water. When we were in Cozumel, we were on the side um, of the pier that faces the pier. So that was really cool, watching, watching us pull in, watching us leave. So again, cabin 7348 on the Carnival Liberty.